Here she comes. All right. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. I'm an international star. I don't be recognized. That's why I wear these. Our head's turning. Our head's turning. I have my hair done for all of you. How do I look? Cost me $150. I made that up. <laughs> so I love hot, steamy sex, don't you? Yes. And I think making love is wonderful, and I'm a great, great lover. From what I remember, <laughs> I'm a lot of practice, though. That's why I'm here tonight, to find somebody to practice with. Any doctors here? No? Because they spend their entire life practicing. That's really weird. I don't know why I'm thinking of my gynecologist. I have a great pickup line. Are you circumcised? You have to show me. <laughs> that line is perfect. It doesn't say yes or no. The line still works. Are you circumcised? Shane Bush, I share. Now it's your turn. <laughs> I, uh, when I meet a good looking guy, I meet a lot, a lot of guys, because look at me, why wouldn't I? And when I meet a good looking guy, I say, oh, you're such a hot guy, are you married? And they usually say no, or they say yes, especially when they say yes, I'm intrigued, and I say, well, do you cheat even a little? <laughs> they always say no, and then I met a hot guy who owned a restaurant, kids, a dog, I love animals, don't you? And then I took a breath and I said, you're married? He said, yes. I said, would you cheat even a little? He said, yeah, now and then. <laughs> so now somebody made me speechless. Um, how many of you, if, if, how many of you laugh in bed? Because you're laughing bad with me. <laughs> now what happens is, I used to always wonder, there's so many serious, grouchy people around. They don't smile, they're not available. I wonder, do these people laugh in bed? So when I was at the Beverly Hills Chamber of Commerce, I went over to a guy who looked really serious, and I said, I've never asked this question before, but I'm wondering, because you seem serious, do you laugh in bed? He says, no, my wife's an attorney, we argue in bed. <laughs> then I was with a girlfriend of mine, and her friend joined us, and you just can't ask that question, and we had some you know, conversation. I said, do you laugh in bed? She says, yeah, if I could find somebody to fuck, I'd laugh in bed. <laughs> then I was at a seminar where there's a doctor, and later on, it was a fun seminar, always looking for hot guys, and I cornered him, he was married, and I said, do you laugh in bed? He says, no, but my wife does. <laughs> and then I was at Ritz Carlton at some acting seminar, I love to brand the Ritz Carlton, woo. So I went up to a girl who I'd seen before in another seminar a year before, and I said, do you laugh in bed? She said, yeah, just to get it over with. <laughs> so if you want to have some fun, go and ask people if they laugh in bed, and you'll be amazed at the comments they have. So I also am a delightful diva. Aren't I delightful? Yeah. Thank you. So I was at the Bed and Bath Beyond, and I was talking after I bought a lot of stuff to the cashier and I told her I'm a delightful diva and divas are good. They take good care of themselves as well as other people and I said do you take good care of yourself? I know we have lots of divas. Men are called divos. <laughs> so uh, I, I said that do you take good care of yourself? And she said yes I do. I said then you're a diva. She says you're right I am. See, I changed her mood from sad to happy, pissed off everyone else in line, <laughs> save one, eight or ten, anybody else do that? Oh, this is another secret. I tried this at C's Candy. <laughs> I said to her, I'm a diva, and you're a diva. You look like just like you're a diva. Said, I am a diva. And she gave me seven pieces of C's Candy. Now, another thing is, <laughs> I'd love to network, don't you? <laughs> If you go into C's Candy, they cannot tell you you can only have one. You can ask for as many samples as you want to. <laughs> and I love taking advantage of that, don't you? And you got to get the rocky road. Not the ones that already is cut, but the ones that are big and big piece. Because I say, give me a big piece, because they have to cut it. And of course, they're going to give me a big piece, because I ask. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Okay, so I work on the law of attraction and efficiency. 
And every morning I jump in the shower. Unfortunately, she's alone, but I'm available. <laughs> so, so what happens is, um, I got the light, but I'm gonna hurry with this one. So I work on the law of attraction and efficiency. When I'm in the shower, hold your ears, I say, I'm awesome, I'm, first I say, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm awesome, I'm awesome, I'm awesome. I'm a lover, I'm a lover, I'm a lover. I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. I'm exquisite, I'm exquisite, I'm exquisite. I live an extraordinary life, I live an extraordinary life, I live an extraordinary life. I don't know about the day because of, regarding the day of efficiency, by the time I say all that, the day's over. <laughs> My name is Sandra Marshall. Think of me, think of me, dream with me, or better yet, sleep with me. <laughs> Good night. Keep it over, Sandra Marshall, everybody. One more time, the delightful diva. Don't forget your sunglasses, God forbid.